What is up guys, my name is Flying Cow one and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this little Roman house that you can see behind me. It does fit in one chunk. It is 12 by 10. That is the space that you're going to need for this little build. And all the blocks, let me turn around here. These are all the blocks that you're going to need. So go ahead and pause the video if you're going to be building along with me and go get those blocks and I will give a little tour of the house at the end so let's get right into the build guys first what we're going to do let's get rid of that shovel <coughs> first we're going to grab our polished granite and we're going to just put one down go over two one down four times just like that and then we're going to go two away and place another and go all the way down we're going to just actually we're just going to go four down and we're going to have a space of two then go four down again then from there we're going to build off eight i think that was eight let's go to the other side and do it yeah that was eight so and then we're going to just connect those two right there and there is our outline of the build so far. <coughs> Alright, now what we're going to do, we're going to grab our pillar quartz block. We're going to build up two on each of these four that are alone. And then we're going to put a chiseled quartz block on top of all of those. Next we're going to grab our smooth quartz stairs and we're going to build little archways across all of those. Now that we've got that, we can go ahead and take our block of quartz. We can put in two two by two windows. Right there, just like that. Let's get the glass and fill those in. <coughs> Then we can also take our quartz stairs and then put in a little arch over that doorway. This is going to be the main doorway and the only doorway actually. Next we are going to take our, oops, that's the wrong block. We're going to take our block of quartz and we're going to build, we're going to fill in the corners right there just like that and leave all the rest open. We're going to do that for every side. just like that. Next we're going to take the dark oak fence and we're going to fill in both sides of the house with this but we're not going to fill in the back with this and I will get to the back and what we do with that right now actually. So now we go to the back we just build up two build up two in those spots and then we can go ahead and fill those in with windows And there you go. Now you've got the the first the first floor done of the house. Actually, let's take out the floor. Let's take out all the grass and we're going to put in the floor. The floor that we're going to use is going to be jungle planks. So let's go ahead and fill those in. While I'm digging out this floor, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. It does mean a lot to me that you click on it. And thank you for getting this far into the video, at least. And sticking around. So thank you, everybody. If you do like it so far, then go ahead and hit subscribe. So that you can see my next houses that I'm going to be building. The next video that I'm going to do after this, I believe, is the Japanese One Chunk House tutorial. So yeah, definitely want to subscribe for that. I think that's my favorite house that I've built so far. You might have already seen it in the background of this video. It's right over there. So yeah, now that we've got that floor down, what we're going to do, we're going to take the brick slabs and then we're going to go, we're just going to place them all over this little archway 
that we created and we're going to connect it to the house portion of the build and we're actually going to go over one segment one block and then we're going to put in little lanterns we're going to hide them behind the pillars so that you can't really see them so from the outside it's it's still lit up but you can't see the lights so now that we've got that part done what we're going to do we're going to take our pillars we're going to put one down with two spaces in between just like before and we're going to fill that in with this uh, chiseled quartz block <coughs> and once we've got that we're going to fill in let's fill in this little segment right here with the jungle wood slabs now what we're going to do we're going to do the exact same design as the front of the house but now we're going to do it on top we're going to have two windows just like that let's fill those in and there we go now that we've got those two windows we're actually going to place two lanterns right under there and then we can go ahead and fill in the rest of this this is going to be the ceiling slash the floor for the upstairs and we're going to fill it all in except for the last row right here we're not going to fill that in yet because that's where the stairs are going to go all right there we go now that we've got that part done now we're just going to fill in all the rest of this with quartz block you could put some windows in if you want i'm not going to in this tutorial though i think that all houses should have little rooms that don't have windows so you can decorate the walls a bunch and that is going to be this room besides there's already two windows right at the front so I think it looks fine now we're going to take the brick slabs and we're gonna cover the outline right there we're gonna also extend that one out and then from that we're going to extend one out but we're going to go every other block all the way till the end let's do that on the same side on the other side same thing on the other side and we're going to fill in the rest of the ceiling right there And now that we've got that, now we can take our lanterns. We're going to do the same thing where we hide them behind these little pillars. I think two is probably enough for this room, but if you want more, you can always just like build a little shelf or something. A little shelf right there. Put a lantern if you wanted. I'm not going to do that right now though, but next step is the stairs. And then this is almost the complete uh, this is almost the last step. I think this is the second to last step is the stairs right here. So we're going to take our quartz block. We're going to go up and over and make sure to place one underneath so that it doesn't just look funny. We could actually, let's actually have it right there so that it gives us a little more space to walk around downstairs. And yes, it does cover up this back window, but that's okay because the glass doesn't actually really connect to it. So now that we've got that down, can fill in this corner. Can we fill it up to there? Nope. So yeah, now that we've got that, let's take a lantern. We're just going to plop one down right there. Plop one down right there. One down right there. Now that is the complete house portion of the build, but we have one more step and I think that it is 
more important on this house than it is on other houses. We're going to just dig around the outline. I'm sure that by now if you've been watching my other videos, you've noticed that I do this with those builds as well. I think it really does make the build kind of pop a little bit, but especially for this one. So we're just going to dig out all that. We're going to dig out the grass right here. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do, we're going to take our dead bubble coral block, which is this one right here. It looks kind of like cobblestone. I'm just going to fill that all in with that. And there we go, now that we've got that done, now that is the complete tutorial of this little one chunk Roman build. Thank you everybody for watching this tutorial, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, then go ahead and like the video, hit subscribe to see my other houses, and don't forget to watch some of my other videos. You can see in the background we've got some medieval builds over there, we've got a little British house over there, and then next up is going to be the Japanese house. So. You definitely want to subscribe to see that. All these are one chunks so far. I think I'm going to keep the trend going. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.